of you may or may not have seen the players wearing these small vests during practice sessions and then under their jerseys uh, during match sessions. Now there's a reason for that. This vest contains a small pod which is a GPS tracking pod. Started using them in cricket over the last few years to collect data. Now data is now our best friend. We need to know more about the players so that we can get the best out of them when we train them and also in match situations. What we're capturing here via the GPS is, is a number of parameters and some of those preset parameters that we're, we're looking to, uh, to get information about is total distance covered by that player during the duration of the game. We're looking at their average speeds and then we're looking at their top speeds that they attain during efforts in the, in the match as well. Now what that match data does is it gives us a baseline for that player. So once we have that match information, especially around top speeds and the time that they spent in certain top speed bands, that gives me information as to how we need to train them in order to prepare them for match. Uh, what we've noticed in the past is that even though a player has a perceived exertion rate of 100% in a training session, the data that we're capturing in matches tells us that they're probably around 15 to 20 percent down on their maximum efforts. So that means that they're going into match situations from a normal training session about 15, between, 15 to 20 percent down on, on their actual efforts. So that means they're not adequately prepared for that match day environment. Probably the best example of the, of the value of catapult is when a player is returning from injury. So given that we know what his average speeds are, we know what his maximum speeds are, and we know how much time he is spending in certain speed band, I then know that uh, during his training, after his return from injury, the training parameters that we need to set are those of his match day, uh, of his match day efforts. So on the back of that, we train accordingly. Um, so we use the information from here to see, to see after his return from injury whether he is at uh, what we call match fitness, which is very, very crucial. Catapult is only being used by Rajasthan Royals, so we felt that prior to the tournament that this information would give us a bit of a head start in terms of fitness. It also allows us to have a better relationship with the player. So it's been a really interesting communication tool for us in communicating to the player why we do what we do, especially off the field, and why we train the way we train. So sometimes it's very difficult for a player to understand why you do the running sets that you do, why we ask them to do the high speed running sets that we do. But once we have this information, they're more able and better able to buy into the whole concept of the relevance of that type of training for this type of sport. So I found it a really valuable communication tool. Um, I also find that it's a really interesting way to engage with the fans. Um, a lot of fans are now interested in, in seeing who is the fittest of all the athletes amongst us, who is accumulating the most number of kilometres per match day, who, has, who is the fastest runner in the team, um, who spends most time in the highest average speed bands. Um, so that's really interesting information for the punter out there who wants to know more about the athlete themselves. And, and the cricketer these days, or modern day cricketer, is is truly in the form of the word an athlete and uh, we need to train them accordingly and the data we get from the GPS system allows me to train them according to the sport that they're in. This is a very user-friendly technical piece of equipment. All we really have to do at the beginning of the match is turn the unit on, put it on the player and let them go and at the end of the match we take the unit from them, we put it into a special device which then downloads it directly onto our computer and gives us the preset parameters that we're looking for. So the user capability of it is extremely easy. On the back of some of the information that we're also getting, it's made us realize that, that recovery is, is such a crucial part of this game. And when you look at some of the numbers with some of the players in one in, in a T20 match or up around 11 kilometers or more in, in, in one day, it, it means that the recovery protocols that we have in place for those players after the match need to be very, very robust. So that's uh, another aspect of it that, that, we've, that we've managed to improve on the back of this information is our recovery protocols for the players.